Hey folks, Kevin here. Well, it's September 11th, 2018, and I'm out in the uh, Western Garden Plot right now. And uh, today, one of my goals is to try and knock down some of the tasks of uh, getting uh, some of the vegetables harvested and prepped for the winter time. This time of year, uh, I feel the crunch and uh, trying to get as much of the food harvested, processed, and put into storage as, as I possibly can. Thea was on vacation this last week and uh, we got a lot of things uh, out of the garden and process, but we grow so much that there's still a ton more to be done. And I realize there's so much that we're just not gonna be able to harvest and it'll go into whatever, either it'll go into composting or go into pond patching and that sort of thing. <clears throat> this morning I came out and uh, took the uh, Triple Crown and Chester thornless semi-erect blackberry plants and put some bamboo stakes next to them and some other stakes and tied those up. Uh, the uh, wood chips that I put over around the pots, it was above the pots initially, but as the, as the summer has progressed, the wood chips have uh, settled more. So I'm gonna have to get some more wood chips and cover that up to help protect them for the winter months. Uh, I did, we were able to harvest all of the leeks from these two beds. There's also some, uh, some really good weeds in here are um, white clover. So I'm gonna take some of that and transplant that, but that isn't what I'm gonna do today, most likely. Uh, I'm gonna try, since the corn is getting to the point where we need to harvest it in order to have it remain nice sweet corn, the extra corn will go to the ducks and the chickens over the winter months. And uh, the corn stalks, they're gonna end up going over to help seal pond five as well as more organic material. Typically what I would do since we have a flail mower is run right down this area here, mulch it up and, and allow that to be decomposed, put compost right over the surface of it as I add more compost to each one of these beds. Uh, but often I do that in the springtime, and my goal this year is to try and get these beds a little bit more prepped for next spring, uh, get the tarps on them for over the winter months, and, uh, and hopefully in the spring get a little bit earlier start. But we'll see how things work out. That's my plan anyways. So right now I'm going to go ahead and uh, see if I can knock down this corn, uh, harvest what uh, ears there are of value, and uh, ship the rest of the material over to Pond 5 so we can continue our sealing. So, here we go.
Well, I got the uh, corn harvested. Uh, there's two uh, beds, four rows total of the corn. Uh, a lot of the, the, there was a lot of wind damage this year, so a lot of it didn't get fertilized. But probably got, you know, uh, a few dozen ears of really good quality corn for us. Uh, maybe in the next couple of days I'll process that and uh, the rest of it will save for the chickens and the ducks. We still have a little bit more of the uh, carrots to harvest back there. Uh, sweet basil, uh, lemon basil, and both, uh, both sides of the hoop trellis with, with beans on them as well. Uh, it looks like the, uh, the elderberries did really well throughout the summer despite being covered by the corn. But other than that, the rest of the hardwood uh, cuttings and softwood cuttings don't seem to have uh, survived. Uh, well, that's okay. We take what we can get. So I still have to do the flail mower on the lower part of all this, this material here. But uh, I think I gotta go check on the blue Hubbard squash, check on the compost pile and see what next I have to do. And then get back over to the rest of the areas and see what else needs being harvested as well. So if you found this video of value, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, hit that bell icon if you want to be notified when we post more videos. And certainly folks, have a super fantastic day. Bye-bye <laughs> now.